It's the Joseph Bristol Show. Welcome to another episode of Joseph Bristol Show. All right. So on today's today's episode is going to be a little different. Uh, you may also notice in the background that I have here a, uh, a, 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 a little timer thing that's ticking. Uh, this is actually my cryptocurrency. It's just showing you that even in the span of me making this video, I'm making money. So the money is being made through cryptocurrency specifically. So you can also get involved with making your cryptocurrency make you money uh, just by watching uh, the videos that I have. I'll put the link in the descriptions to show you how to stake your Stormex token so that it can make you some money as well as my review on Voyager and you would have to go over to my uh, Hyper video in order to see my personal portfolio and how it is that I use uh, Voyager uh, To make my token is make me money my, my cryptocurrency with that said I want to go ahead and get into today's topic today's episode today's episode is going to be about uh, freedom of speech and uh, nonviolence, and the reason why I put the two of these things together is I find that in our society we tend to want people to be free to say whatever it is that they want to say as well as we want nonviolence to be the main uh, course of action in, in our disputes with one another so in the sense that we literally don't want violence right and there's nothing wrong with that i support that i believe in a society without violence i think that humanity in general have has basically reached the point in time where we no longer need to be violent to uh to, to resolve conflict we're at a point where we're able to communicate we can talk to each other and and resolve whatever problems we have with each other regardless of whatever it is i find violence to be uh, uh, Something that young people do. Something that is done out of frustration. So I find that violence is usually, you know, you get angry, so it's like the easiest thing to do as opposed to talking, in which case it takes more time, more energy. It requires more thinking because you have to communicate your, own, your feelings as well as understanding the feelings of another person. But what does this have to do with freedom of speech and, and nonviolence? The freedom of speech part is important because we want people to speak up. We want people to say how they feel. But at the same time, there is no such thing as freedom of speech because it, it, it's more limited speech. You're not allowed to say things that would incite a riot or say things that would incite violence in another person. So in which case we're limiting the things that people are allowed to say. I think that 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 is a problem. So younger people have a hard time uh, disting distinguishing between when something should be said or talked about, right? And there are some people who aren't embarrassed or shameful about certain things so they don't mind talking about those things in a public area as opposed to other people who may be uh, feeling embarrassed about speaking about a specific topic in a public area so in which case <clears throat> we're not going to ask somebody to change the way that they think or or speak in order to comfort someone else uh, is that in and of itself a bad thing no is it in and of itself a good thing though no it's neither that either it's just requiring or requesting someone to change but <clears throat> the reason why the speech is important is because people should be free to speak however they want to speak they should be allowed to say whatever they want to say because we want to know we want to know right Deep down inside all of us, we want the truth. No matter how much it hurts, no matter how how much we might fight against it, lie to ourselves, run away from it, we all want the truth. We, 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 we crave it. It's a human 
necessity to know the truth. That's why we desire closure. That's why we don't like cheating. We don't like lying. We don't like those type of things. People in general don't like that because, again, we all want truth. We like it. So when somebody speaks their truth, right, we should not, one, it definitely shouldn't be violent. I don't think any type of speech should incite violence. That, that's just me. I don't think there's anything anybody has ever said to me or could say to me that would make me hit them. You, you, you see what I'm saying? That's speech that incites violence. I, I don't, to my recollection, my memory, I have never reacted to something someone has said to me with violence. I've never done that. I don't do that. You know what I mean? That's not my thing. Actually, when I was in elementary school, uh, I asked her for a cookie and she told me no and I punched her in her stomach. But I was a little kid that was super angry. You know, my childhood I was I was an angry kid. So violence, the 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 the, the incitement of violence can't be something that is incited through speech, through talking. I just don't feel that way. I don't think that that's right. So we now the reason why I'm bringing this up, right, is is people will say things like Twitter warrior or keep keyboard fighter and and we look at these things in a negative way but we really should these things should be looked at as a positive thing so when we think about somebody saying something to us right it, it, it's important what somebody says it's important how somebody says something but more important than any of those two things is how you take the information that's being said to you Right? And most of the time, when we consider information that's being given to us from someone else, one of the most important things in that interaction is who is saying something to us? Who is this person that's speaking to us? Right? <clears throat> because, because let's say that the person that's speaking to us is our mother or our father, and we and we respect this person. This the person speaking to us is someone that we respect, regardless of their title. We just respect this person enough that anything that they say to us, we understand that it's not coming from a place of malice. You, you see what I'm saying? Because it doesn't matter what somebody says to you. What matters is who's the person that's saying it to you. What is their intent? Right? So if their intent is to hurt you, then yeah, you, you, you might look at the person a, a, a funny way but if it's somebody that you love and they say something hurtful to you you're more likely to forgive them and move forward than you are a stranger that says something hurtful to you you're, you're likely to snap on this stranger to react to them badly because again who, who are you to say this thing to me right but with that that's something that we got to get rid of because Anybody can say anything to you at any given moment and you should be okay with that Because you want to be okay with saying anything you want to say to anybody at any given moment Now maybe you choose not to say certain things to people to certain people at any time and that's fine That's your decision that you can't expect people to decide not to say certain things to you at any time because you don't say anything to them. So because you're not speaking to someone doesn't mean that they're not speaking to you. You see what I'm saying? It don't work like that. Just like you don't have to look at me, but I can look at you. And you can't stop me from looking at you. I'm allowed to look at you. I'm a person. I'm allowed to do anything I want to do. The same way that we go into the speech, you're allowed to say anything you want to say, but then people will say, well, I'm allowed to react any way I want to react. If I want to react with violence, I can react with violence. Of course you can. That's ignorance. And that's the very point of this video, is that we have to get rid of the violence. The violence is unnecessary. Oh, well, they said hurtful things to me. They're allowed to say whatever they want. It's talking. What's wrong with talking? People can talk. We live in America. We live in a country that, that, that believes in the idea that people, it, it, we believe in the idea that people ran away from one country to another country to try to practice whatever religion they wanted, to do whatever they wanted, to say whatever they wanted. That's why they came here. Some people, some of us are foreigners. Our family came here from another country. 
who knows why they ran from the other country, but irrelevant. They came to a place where they knew that they would be free to say whatever they wanted to say and do whatever they wanted to do with their lives. It's the same concept. So I'm really just promoting the idea that we get rid of this, this violence from words. We have to get rid of that. And how do we start that? We start that with the children. So I, I, I always encourage my children not to hit anybody. Oh, well, they said this, they talked about my mama, they did that, or they said that, that, that. I don't care what they said. Did they hit you? No. Well, then you don't hit them. You don't do anything. You don't hit them. If you don't like what they're saying, you walk away. You, you, you just walk away. You don't have to listen. You just walk away. Oh, well, you can't walk away. You're in a situation where you can't. But where's the person that has the authority to make this person be quiet? Somebody has some type of authority there. And if not, then you move on with another conversation. You're not in a jail in a small little cell where you and the person are one in the room by yourself. You're not in that type of situation. And if you are, well, what can you do other than sit there and listen? That's all you can do. Or you can try to say hurtful things back to the other person, but that's tit for tat, it's unnecessary. We're beyond that. We're creatures of understanding and intellect. There's no reason to, to carry on like that, you know what I mean? But of course those are emotions, and emotions are very controlling things, but who amongst us are better than the rest of us, other than the people who can control themselves? The people who have the ability to control their emotions and their and they are, are, are spiritually wise people. These are the people that are the best amongst us. These are the people that are the greatest amongst all of us. Someone who can control themselves? That's, is that not the ultimate, uh, the ultimate trophy to obtain as a human? Self-control, true self-control, controlling your emotions, your thoughts, your actions. So, I mean, this is the thing that we should all be striving for, as well as, of course, spiritual balance and, 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 and spirituality and whatnot. But I just wanted to touch on this subject. This was something that I think is important and it should be, it should be thought about and it should be considered. Our actions don't have to require violence from the speech of someone else. It just, it just seems like ignorance to me. It doesn't seem like anything sensible. You know, uh, and one last thing, another thing to check out with the, uh, uh, pertaining to this uh, freedom of speech and saying hurtful things to people is the cask of Amontillado uh, by Edgar Allan Poe. And it's basically a story about a guy um, who felt hurt by something that somebody else said to him. So someone else said something to him and he was so hurt by what was said to him that he uh, buried the man alive. And, 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 and yeah, that, that was the whole story. But that's just something to keep in mind in this freedom of speech. I believe in freedom of speech. I don't care what anybody says to me because I will say anything to anyone. And the way I feel about it is, what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna hit me? Are you really gonna hit me because of what I said to you? And in which case, once you hit me, I'm gonna kill you because that's the right that I have when you commit violence because violence and <laughs> violence leads to violence. And the whole point of violence is is murder. Like There's no other purpose in violence. If you look at, at, at everything in, in nature, tells you that violence is for murder. Violence is not for anything else other than murder. So if someone puts their hands on you, you have the all right to defend yourself and defend your life because you don't know why this person is putting their hands on you. They could be trying to kill you because of what you said. Again, the cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. So I believe in freedom of speech, people being allowed to say anything that they want to say. But you guys should check out that story. I thought it was pretty dope. So with that being said, thanks for watching another episode of the Joseph Bristol Show. And let's all remember, man, we all out here trying to do the same thing. Just be happy and survive. Y'all stay blessed.